when I say the worst base tower in all of balloons, what do you think of? Maybe you think of a mortar or like a glue gunner or even like an ace? Hell no. There's one that stands out above the rest and we're going to be God boosting it today. I think we all know what it is. I mean, it's in the title. I don't know why I'm building this up. The Beast Handler. It's so, so bad. This thing alone with no upgrades at all is genuinely worse than a Dart Monkey. Even these blues it's struggling on. Okay, don't get me wrong. It is a good tower once you have like a Megalodon or a Paukai, whatever it's called. Just this little stick though, it's garbage. That's when I had the idea. Let's make this thing crazy. Let's actually make this thing good using the Sun God Village. If you can't already tell, we brought back the perfect map. If you've never seen this before, basically a balloon will go in, right? And it'll loop around this little loop. I think it's like... 24 times or something. I don't know. I haven't done this in a while, so I don't remember exactly. Sell, rebuy, farm, sell, rebuy, farm. And just like that, we have all these farms and he gives tier one upgrades for free. I think you guys all know Norman by now. He's so good. But the beast handler is a whole different story. It's round 12 and she's already struggling. They're going around like... 10 times already it's like halfway there it's it's so bad that's why we make it better we go ahead and get a village we get our free glue gunner put it on strong with norman we can now get tier 2 upgrades for free look how beautiful that is oh great i forgot about regrows we have a solution though if we were to get a engineer right here which path is it cleansing foam and we put the cleansing foam right here for now that'll be a good solution it won't deal damage because it's blocked by the fence but it'll strip off the leads it It'll strip off camo and i think it does it for regrows too right that means for now we won't need a radar scanner we won't need an alchemist what we do need is more money so let's uh upgrade these farms i don't know if you saw that or not but we had a leak wait a minute i forget the staff is magic that's not good we need to sell some farms again at mib no dude that's so frustrating why do purple balloons exist i don't know and just like that we literally lose okay i know i said i wasn't gonna do it for a while we're gonna sell the engineer and we're gonna get an alchemist I know it's gonna do damage i'm sorry just until we can afford this goddamn village dude we can also go ahead and upgrade the glue gunner stickier glue stronger moab and relentless glue we got the first moab here we have about 4300 damage um i don't know if we can take it down i genuinely don't i guess with the help of the alchemist we'll be fine because look at that slowing everything down dealing damage looking great oh god it only did 50 damage to the moab and the alchemist did so much that was quick we can now get the monkeyopolis rebuy these farms the sooner we get this done the sooner we'll get the village the sooner the beast handler will actually uh do damage even with the help of the alchemist we're having some leaks i'm just like hoping that we don't have enough to lose as long as we can get past the round that's a win in my book no way yes we actually got it we have 44 lives so we're pretty much on the brink of death but who cares? All right, ladies and gentlemen, as long as we can take care of this round, I don't know if we can, but as long as we do, we can afford the uh, Golden Village. All right, it is time. Let's get it down. $85,000. I thought it was 75000 maybe they like made it more expensive golden village baby i say this every time i make these but if you've never seen it i'm gonna explain the upgrades briefly so without any upgrades like a zero zero you know it gives a sun god temple buff which is sweet the only problem is it doesn't have camo detection or an mib built in just yet you have to get upgrades for that so we'll rebuy the mib same with the alchemist same thing though we're, we're, once we get this first upgrade we won't need this guy anymore so now hopefully we should be looking good and we are not looking good <laughs> Okay, so what do we do about this round? If we rebuy the radar scanner, oh yeah, 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 that's why. It's because the glue gunner and the alchemist couldn't hit these things. Yeah, okay, we got it covered now. Now all we do is save up 85,000 so we can get the first upgrade. And that should be pretty quick because we have a good little uh, farm system going over here. Here we go, targeted buffs. as acidic dip, permabrew, and both overclock versions. So yeah, now this thing is essentially a permabrew so we can sell this. And the more important upgrade, look at that. Ultra boost, baby. Now we're in business. Look at that attack speed, even slowed down. Speed it up, bam, 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 bam. It's like a machine gun. Let's uh let's get some more upgrades. True Sun God Village replicates the buff of a true sun god. You see that? Got the buff there now. Speed it up. Look at that. Look at that, dude. The damage is finally going up. Almost at 20,000 while the uh the alchemist had like 40,000. First BFB. Can we take care of it? We hit him with an ultra boost and an overclock and let's speed this up. See if it's even possible yeah it is dude this thing's too strong vengeful true sun god village replicates most passive buffs in the game including from heroes and energizing totem look at that now we got azili's totem 
discounted prices even though we don't need that yeah all the all the stuff you need the only thing that really sucks is the fact that it says vengeful sun god village so i mean it should give a vengeful buff right right but unfortunately it doesn't and trust me i've tried a million times to get one of these things we put it like behind the fence where it's blocked off once you get something at temple if you didn't know they can hit over anything so that is not gonna work we're not getting a vengeful buff don't ask about it. Dude, fortified Moabs, look at that, going down like crazy. And at this point, this is the only thing doing damage. Glue Gunner's at zero, zero, zero. It's the star of the show, round 63, lots of uh, ceramics, and they're just gone. Look at that. Geraldo goodness has a long description, I'm just gonna explain it. So it gives you a camo potion, a sharpening stone, and a jar of pickles. Except the jar of pickles doesn't slow it down, it just deals more damage, so that's a really good one. Stacking simulator ability spawns five non-attacking monkeys that each grant a shinobi tactic and poplar stack so we click the ability it spawns in these little guys the only problem is it's not gonna help the uh beast handler at all it only works for like ninjas and druids and yeah so that's kind of a waste unless you're using one of those two towers like i always say this is where the magic happens the self overclock replica towers in range of the gold village gain 10 percent attack speed every round stacks up to 50 times giving it a 500 percent attack speed buff right now it's round 65 so that means on round 115 we will have 500% more attack speed. And with this right here, we now have the 10 times ultra boost. Include support abilities, adds all AOE buff abilities in the game. So if you take a look down here, you can tell we now have a lot of abilities. I think my goal for this challenge is to beat round 140. I mean, round 100, I think will still be pretty hard, but I'm pretty sure we'll be able to take care of it. At this time, let's go ahead and sell all of our farms in Norman, and we can get down a second village right here. This one will be the bottom path, so we don't need to get the uh, sun god stuff again. Kind of buffs adds 250 glue storm and firestorm so yeah gwendolyn's ability and a uh, glue storm ability in brittle replica all balloons are affected by embrittlement and super embrittlement for the next 60 seconds and last but surely not least the monkey boost replica so at this point we're essentially maxed out besides like the uh speed thing that's gonna gradually increase you know this glue gunner is a little bit annoying i'm gonna get it on the other side so it's blocked right here wait a minute i just realized something look at my abilities or not my abilities my buffs we don't have the perma brew i kind of forgot that you can't perma brew a beast handler let me double check and make sure that's the case. So if we get another beast handler right here and a perma brew, yeah, look at that. It doesn't even splash on it. Doesn't do anything. Well, that kind of sucks. At this point, you can tell the beast handler is pretty solid. Look at that. Those are fortified ceramics. Just getting one tapped. All right, let's speed this up. I want to see round 80, the first ZOMG. Oh wait, this is 78. It just took care of 78, no problem. Look at that. Damn, dude, 230,000 already. All right, here it comes. Let's check it out. Why don't we activate some abilities? So we get a homeland defense, power, um, embrittlement. Oh, and it's gone. I was looking at my abilities. I didn't even see it up there. No, you know what I just realized? Remember how we had the panda on this map? Was it a, no, a polar bear, not a panda. We used to have a little polar bear on this map. I don't know where it went, dude. That's so sad. I probably got rid of it to make a thumbnail or something. <laughs> that makes me so sad. All right, round 95, lots of uh, Moabs, fortified Moabs and DDTs, and it's no problem. Look at that yeah this thing is actually crazy i've never seen a beast handler a zero 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 one with over a million damage that's ridiculous freeze 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 homeland glue fire bam if you can't tell we have like unlimited abilities it's so nice i need to do something really quick so the other village is dealing damage and i don't like that so we rebuy it over here so it's not going to be shooting you know bad time can we take it down and it still shoots. Not as much damage though, which is good. Only like 2,000. Glue, Homeland. We'll freeze once this breaks. All right, freeze now. Activate another Homeland, Embrittlement, and Gwendolyn. And that should be enough. Speed this up. Sweet. Even at this point, we don't have the maximum attack speed. We still need 13 more rounds, I believe. So I'll uh, see you then. All right, the moment is now here. We should have the maximum possible attack speed. I should have turned on small balloons. I, I should have thought about that before I did this. If we slow these down, look at the attack speed. Boom, 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 speed this up. It's kind of crazy. You can't really tell though. It's like a little uh, super monkey. Damage is going up quick, dude. We're almost at 6 million already. This will be a better view. See that? The little stick, it's just like stuttering. Boring, let's see round 140.
Oh, here we go. Moment of truth. Final test. Oh, no. Uh, I accidentally used this thing. So it's already cracked. Who cares? It's fine. Power, power, uh, glue storm, homeland, Benjamin, ultra boost, overclock. Just throw everything at it. We can't use the freeze just yet. Once it pops, we will. Go boom, boom. I forget there's two of them, but the second one is not fortified, so we shouldn't have any problems there. More power, more homeland, more glue storm. Come on. I think this is actually going to be close. I don't like this. I don't know how many times it's gone around so far, and I don't know how many more it has to go. Oh, it cracked. Freeze. Homeland. Another freeze. Come on. Yes, it's going to be it. You're almost there, my friend. Let's do it and down it goes round 140 fortified b80 complete i know that it was already partially damaged but i'm pretty sure it would have taken care of it still either way part of the gold village is a sacrifice you have to be willing to take 15 million damage i've never seen a 000 beast handler do something like that ridiculous anyways thanks for watching adios